Ty, you've had a, a heck of a, a three-year run here. Uh, where do you see yourself right now as, as far as progressing towards being an all-purpose running back? You know, just going to the offseason and just working on everything that needs to be worked on, even if it's just running the ball, you know, pass pro, uh, running out of backfield, um, being split out as a, you know, a slot or anything. So um, <clears throat> it's just knowing anything I can to contribute and, you know, uh, make plays. Tough way for you guys to um, end the season. Talk about um, what you learned over the course of the season, um, deal, dealing with the fact that you had to deal with um, all the injuries at the quarterback position. Sometimes, you know, there's uh, adversity and you just got to get over the hump in uh, simple uh, terms. Um, you know, we've had a lot of, you know, uh, incidents that happen, you know, uh, Cassie and Pig. Um, you have guys getting nicked up here and there. So um, there's a lot of adversity and, you know, it's just those uh, things you just got to, you know, you get hit in the face, got to keep moving forward. So, um, you know, we just got to, you know, come back together um, next week, you know, talk about it and then go into the off season and, you know, get ready for the September next year. You've been, uh, uh, as a Western Maryland guy, you must have a lot of Penn State neighbors and friends back home. Uh, does this game mean anything special to you? Um, it always means something. Every game means something. You know, I'm blessed to be able to play the game. Um, you know, I'll probably, I'm sure tomorrow or later tonight, I'll get a lot of texts from, uh, you know, neighbors, our Penn State fans. But, um, you know, they're, they've never had any type of, you know, agenda towards me or anything like that. They always, you know, still cheer me on, even though they're a Penn State fan. So, um, you know, it is what it is. I know. I'm up in that Hagerstown area, and half the town's Penn State. Yeah, so I have yeah. a special little extra something yeah, going for Penn State. stores and everything. It's all yeah. Penn State stuff. Yeah, so. I know. How did this one get away from you guys so quickly today, Ty? Um, they came out fast. Um, Penn State, you know, they were moving the ball, you know, making our defense tired. Um, you know, they uh, they just was moving the ball up and down the field. Um, on offense, you know, they were stopping us. You know, um, we couldn't really get a, a third down converted um, in the first half. So, uh, you know, they did their scouting report. Um, you know, they planned well for us and they executed. Now, we, we know what, what happened. You guys started so strong this year, then had some bad breaks. What, what, what are you guys feeling now? What are you taking to the off season to build on? You know, just keep playing, even when you get hit in the face with some adversity. Um, you know, it, you know, some of the games we lost, you know, it hurts, but, you know, you got to use that as motivation going into the off season. Make sure, you know, you're working 10 times as hard and, uh, you know, just doing everything right. Uh, Jermaine Carter's more. in the front right. Uh, there was a play where you saw Sean Christie line up and he looked at Rice and said, oh, this is that big gap play, and you ran counter gap, and mm -hmm. I think it was you, and went about 70, 60 yards. Has that been – was that Lola? Uh, it might have been Lola. I don't know. And I know I ran a counter and he did too. Yeah. Uh, what happened to that play? I haven't seen a lot of that for several games. Mm, you know, it's just picking plays that, you know, work against defenses and uh, mm. uh, just – you know, uh, when you make a, you know, the plays for that week, um, you just gotta make sure there's certain plays you can block. So, mm -hmm. you know, um, he just drew it up and said, "Hey, let's run it," and we just executed it. Good. Do you think? Cause you don't even know. I can make your hands clap. Sit